In today's morning rounds, for the first time in the U.S., doctors have brought a heart back to life and successfully transplanted transplanted it into another person. They used a special device to revive the heart of a 26-year-old donor who died of cardiac arrest. The doctors say the recipient, a military veteran, is doing well. The device, called an organ care system, or heart in a box, looks like this. It's currently in clinical trials, including that breakthrough surgery. Dr. Tara Narula is cardiologist at Lenox Hill Hospital Northwell Health in New York. Tara, good morning. Good morning. How did they pull this off? I know, <laughs> Terry, you look at that and you go, yippee! You're amazing. It is, it like, is wow. amazing. Like, oh. You know, it's been 52 years. 1967 was the first heart transplant, and we've really been doing them the same way, this traditional way. And this really has the potential to kind of revolutionize how we transplant patients. And so essentially, in the traditional heart transplant, somebody, the donor, is brain dead, dead right? right? So they have no brain function, but their heart is working really well. It's mm -hmm. pumping normally. Yep. So the transplant team goes in, they take the heart out, and immediately put it in in a cooler. The heart's not beating in the cooler, but yeah. they only have six hours essentially to get it to the recipient and implant it, shock it back to life. Mm -hmm. With this new technique, you're essentially allowing someone to die, their heart function to stop. So you take the breathing tube out, you mm -hmm. pronounce them dead, and at that point you take the heart out, but you immediately put it into that heart box, as you saw, cooler, where yeah. it's brought back to life. It's perfused with warm blood and nutrients and oxygen. Uh. And so it's kind of almost like a normal physiologic state. The heart is beating and that buys the surgeons about 12 hours uh -huh. to get the heart to the new uh, recipient. How did they even know that this was possible? <laughs> so this, this has been done outside of this country for the past several years. Uh -huh. In the UK and in Australia, they've done over 100 cases. Mm -hmm. And they found when they followed these patients over the last couple of years that they seem to do just as well in terms of survival and the yeah. heart function as though pa those patients who had the traditional heart transplant. So what does this mean for the thousands of people who are waiting for a heart transplant? Well, this is really good news. I Game mean, changer, right? Exactly. So can imagine waiting for months and waiting and waiting and then potentially never getting a heart. Many people pass away while they're waiting. Yeah. And so the, the surgeon who performed this yesterday said this has the potential to increase the donor pool by about 30%. 30%. That's which is a big number. Exactly. Do you have any word on the patient's prognosis who got the heart? So we heard this morning he's uh -huh. up, he's walking around, he's right. doing well. He How was old is he? He's a 60-year-old military veteran who yeah. had really end-stage heart failure. Um, but the doctors, the team, really wanted to tell everyone that we also have to thank the donor. I mean, to yes, make, for the families to make this yeah. tough decision yeah. at a time when they're grieving. You know, this donor, he was 26 years old, he had taken care of disabled individuals during his life, and right. now in death he saved five more individuals wow. by donating six organs. Wow. Yeah, Tara, that. how tricky is that transportation progress with, process, which you say now was initially was six hours and now they can have 12? Right, so that's really a game changer, right? So for example, if they're, it, we're in Hawaii, right? We know that many hearts per year go unused because they can't make that travel yeah. distance to yes. the mainland. So this really opens the door to the number of people you would be able to give hearts to that may have gone unused. And can come from much farther distances. And can come from farther away, yeah. exactly. Yeah, a 60-year-old man now has a, a heart yes. of a 26 year old. Yes. It's incredible. We live in amazing times. We, yes, do. we do. We do. All right, Tara, thank you very much.